Hello again and welcome to Wiltshire. Join me for a very windy August cruise through Wiltshire, from Wooden Rivers to Devizes. Having done the gruelling 23 mile 31 lock journey from Newbury to the canal summit, I dropped down four locks to the Long Pound and the lovely village of Wooten Rivers. The Long Pound between Wooten Rivers and Devizes is 14 miles of lock free cruising. Bliss! I have a bit of a soft spot for the county of Wiltshire. My dad was a moonraker, and I'll explain that later, and I was at art college in Salisbury, so it feels a bit like a homecoming. One thing you'll notice about the K&A compared to other canals is the vast array of weird and wonderful craft. I've never seen such diversity of boats anywhere else on the network. This is an old oil rig lifeboat. Now I can't imagine 56 people cramming into this in the North Sea, but I guess it's better than drowning. By the way, you can buy one of these for about five to six thousand pounds. It would need an awful lot of work though. Pusey Wharf is a mile away from the town of Pusey. This once busy wharf once handled cargoes of grain and flour, coal and timber, and coal ashes and gravel for use in road building. Private moorings here on the right, just to the west of Pusey Wharf, and the towpath is on the left. Some holiday makers have grounded on the corner, so I suggested they reverse with low revs, and that seemed to do the trick. If you look carefully in the trees surrounding the canal around here, you can just about see the peculiar thatched cottages of Wilcott. There's one on the right here. They sort of remind me of hobbit houses somehow. There's plenty of wide beam holiday hire boats on the K&A.
Now, my excitement was growing around here because I'm approaching wide water. Any regular viewers will know that I'm a big fan of Tixel wide water, so I've high hopes for this one. Looks like this is it coming up. Okay, not quite the scale of Tixel wide, but pleasant enough and a good spot to moor overnight. I thought this was a great idea. Tennis balls to indicate to those on the towpath where my mooring pins are. Trouble is, every dog and toddler that passes seem to think the balls belong to them. Time for a rethink. When the canal was mooted in 1793, this land was owned by Lady Lardy da Susanna Rawton, who didn't want the canal to pass through her land. She was, though, placated with the building of this rather elaborate bridge, known as Lady's Bridge, the landscaping of the marshy ground surrounding it, and 500 quid. That's about the equivalent of £75,000 today. Well, I have to say, the sage and oregano cuttings I took at Frankton Locks are doing very nicely these days. The following morning started well. But by the time I set off, it was incredibly windy again and reverie is being blown all over the place. It's been overcast and windy for over a week now. After a mile, I decide that this is no fun and decide to moor, with good views of Pickled Hill. There are very few moorings with rings or piling on the K&A and mooring solo isn't the easy task it is elsewhere. I steer the bow into the bank and walk along the gunnels to collect the mooring pins from the well deck. Having secured the bow, I pull the stern in as best I can. I can then get the gangplank to access the towpath and finally secure the stern. Dropping the gangplank wasn't supposed to happen. Good morning. That's a colourful one. Psychedelic. Another example of mooring with your back end sticking out. Arriving at the wonderfully named Honey Street now. Smart fuel boat. and the famous white horse carved into the hillside in 1812. Past the camouflaged dry dock and I pull in for some diesel. It appears though they're shut. Now, Robbie Cummings reckons this is the best pub on the network, the Barge Inn. 
and I can vouch that it is very good. But I still reckon the Black Lion on the Calden is better. What's your favourite canal pub? Let me know in the comments. Remember the record deck from the last episode? I went past him in Newbury. Well, he's here too. Endurance. That's what you need on this canal. I've been meeting up with another boat along the way, and I have to admit, we're both considering turning back at Devizes. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted, this canal. This jogger thought he'd sneak up on a heron and do a sneaky heron snapshot. Both take flight. The sun is just beginning to peek through. It's still pretty windy though. With all these reeds, it's rather like The African Queen, the film with Humphrey Bogard. I am not getting out and bow hauling the boat up the canal though. Now of all the weird and wonderful craft I've seen so far, this one takes the biscuit. What a cute little boat. Through the reeds and trees, you sometimes spot the North Wessex Downs. Now, this is a rarity. Moorings with rings just before all Canning's Bridge. And there's a boat coming, so I'll wait to let them through. Yeah, thank you. Good manners cost nothing, as my mum used to say. Oh, I do like a good Ruby Murray. That's curry to those of you who aren't familiar with Cockney rhyming slang. And a Dutch style barge. I love the shape of these too. Some young'uns getting a fishing lesson at Woodway Bridge. Why are Wiltshiremen known as moonrakers? The story goes that in the villages of All Cannings and Bishop's Cannings, they were heavily involved in smuggling in the 17th and 18th centuries. They hid their barrels of brandy and gin in the village ponds. One night they were caught by a patrol of excise men. The smugglers pretended to be idiots and explained that they were trying to rake out a piece of the moon which had fallen into the pond. The excise men laughed as they saw the reflection of the moon and to this day Wiltshiremen are still known as moon rakers.
I've spotted the canoe going into the reeds, but I'm worried the oncoming boat won't know they're there. As I pass, I let the guys know there's a canoe in the reeds. Turns out it's with them. Bishop's Canning Swing Bridge coming up. The bridges are locked in place with a bolt which can be tightened or untightened with a windlass. However, most people just leave them hand tight, which is fine, but occasionally holiday boaters will tighten them with a windlass. The bridges run on ball bearings, and this was one of the first ever applications of this invention. I think I'll moor just through the bridge on the left. Then I reckon it'll be about an hour into devisers tomorrow. The afternoon clears and there are stunning views of the downs from here. The hill terracing is a relic from medieval farming. Plenty of kayak activity as I enter the outskirts of Devizes. There's a tight 90 degree turn coming up. Pretty boat, but not the best place to moor, methinks. Seems the wharf is busy. Hope I can find a space. Devises Wharf, and I pull in to the service area on the left. I did manage to squeeze in on the visitor moorings opposite. There are 
are two very good reasons why Dividers was one of the top places I wanted to visit on the canal network. Reason number one, the Bear Hotel behind me was actually run by my granddad back in the 1930s. I did want to have a kind of look at it. And the second reason is based in that scaffolded building behind me. That is the Wadsworth Brewery, one of my favourite beers. Now, I have waited 30 years for this. I haven't had a pint of 6X, which is one of my very, very favourite beers for that long, because they don't sell it up north. So, um, this is something I'm really looking forward to. Thirty years, lovely jubbly. The following morning, a crane arrives to hoist a boat out. The owner is relocating to the Lancaster Canal, so his boat will be loaded onto a low loader for the journey. The straps are set in position, and the items on the roof secured. The boat is untied from the dock and is then lifted. The straps are readjusted so that the boat hangs more evenly. And then up she goes, ready for the long road trip up north. Join me next time and find out if I turned back. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, that would really help my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see when I upload new videos. Also, please share on your social media, uh, that will help my channel an awful lot too. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.